There we go. Happy Laurel, everybody. How are you guys doing? I'm back. And finally, after a whole year and a half of a hiatus, here I am. And we're going to review the new Nightmare King from Burger King. Let's set up. Okay, everybody, here we go. We are reviewing the new Monster King. <laughs> I keep saying Monster King. Nightmare King from Burger King. That's right, the new Nightmare King from Burger King. I also got myself an onion rings and then a Dr. Pepper. So, let's go. How's everybody doing? How are you guys doing? What are you guys eating? Let me know in the comments below. What are you eating with me? So, what a day's been. So, I actually got the Monster King. <laughs> the Monster King. Nightmare King from Night from Burger King. They're supposed to that they're supposed to give you nightmares. That's that's a supposed thing that is supposed to give you nightmares. And let me tell you, this thing is hefty. Just like all of their other King Whoppers, this one's pretty hefty as well. Right now, I think they're still running their Philly Cheesesteak King, and the Rodeo King is a classic. Of course, I had to get onion rings. Oh, shoot. I asked for zesty sauce. Oh. Third world. This is my third world problem. I asked for zesty sauce. They didn't get me zesty sauce. Anyways, so let's review this. Nightmare King Burger. <laughs> so first things first, the wrapper is different from their regular wrappers. If you notice, it has like this monster theme. You see that? There's like a little like crown, but it's like the like a pumpkin. You see that? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Okay, let's open this up and see what's inside of this huge, gigantic burger. Whoa! Here we go. It's just as green. Okay, let's compare this to a regular, well, the actual photo. It looks a little different. Okay, so on the inside of this burger, we have, let's check it out. So we have, it looks like mayonnaise, some onion, some bacon on top of a green bun. And then it looks like we have more bacon with a patty. So we've gone, we went through it. So let's give it a try. It's actually, ooh, it's so warm too. Okay, here we go. Take one more bite. Here's a cross section. Let's see a swig of this. Hmm. So what I've noticed about this sandwich so far. So basically, I'm actually kind of underwhelmed with the taste. Because I guess it was hyped up as being, you know, this Nightmare King burger that can give you nightmares. And, um, but they didn't really talk about the flavor. They, they didn't really emphasize on the flavor. And that's what I'm feeling here. I feel like it tastes just like what it's, it tastes basically what it's like is in it. It's just a chicken sandwich and a, it's like a chicken sandwich and a Whopper. If you took the chicken and the Whopper, you put it on the one sandwich, you add some bacon and cheese, there you go. And with the caramelized onions, I don't know, it kind of gives me this yeasty flavor. It almost has like this, yeah, like yeasty flavor. Uh, I don't know. I think it's a great gimmick, but I wouldn't buy this again, no. I'm gonna finish it though. Uh, yeah. And of course, onion rings. Can't go wrong with onion rings. So let me go ahead and just polish this up. And I'll be right back. I 
That's a huge sandwich. It's kind of dry too. Mmm. You know what? I actually wanted to try. Sorry, let me chew with my mouth open. I want to try the, the actual thing by itself to see how the bread. I just want to see if the bread tastes different by itself without anything on it. Let me just try this. Yeah. Yeah, I was expecting some kind of flavor or something. I don't know. I was expecting it to be like an OG, like an oh goodness. But it wasn't. It was more of like a... I don't even know. <laughs> It was. It wasn't. It wasn't that good. Uh, yeah. I think it's more of a gimmick, but it is. What time is it now? Well, I think it's like seven thirty. <laughs> I think it's like seven thirty. So I'm actually gonna try to. Um, I'm gonna see tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, I'll be back and see if it actually gave me nightmares overnight. Yeah, just test it out, and I'm also gonna test out this greenness to see if it makes my, you know, turn green. <laughs> So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. Before I go, I don't know if you noticed over here, but I actually got, as this, this is like a bonus thing. So, I actually got a um, Black Cherry Fanta from Burger King as well. So, they actually have the frozen Black Cherry Fanta. They have, it's a limited, uh, limited edition until November 1st, along with this, the um, Nightmare King is also available until November 1st as well. They're part of their Halloween edition, um, which I enjoy that they do that. But this right here, um, the flavor that I could give for this is it's kind of tart. Uh, it's not it's not sweet at all. It's more tart. It's more like sour, sour flavor. So if you like sour things, you would love the Black Cherry Fanta. I drank it already. <laughs> I actually got <laughs> another thing too. <laughs> so they actually also have the the same thing. It's basically a Black Cherry, a frozen, a frozen black cherry fanta but this one contains soft serve ice cream so i think this one's called the frozen black cherry fanta and this one was called frosted frozen black cherry fanta so the frosted just means that they added the um the uh dairy in there the the soft serve vanilla ice cream it this one's a milder flavor so this one more tastes like a creamsicle like a black cherry flavored creamsicle so if you've ever had anything black cherry flavored like a soda or like sherry soda that I would say that's similar to, to this but don't think of like a um, like a maraschino cherry like that like sweet sweet flavor this is gonna be more of like a sour this one right here the um, when you have it with the with the actual uh, soft serve ice cream the flavor isn't as sour it's more it's a more mild flavor you taste you can taste the vanilla um, in this it's more it's, this one's more sweeter um, so I would go for this one if you want more sweeter and less sour flavor. This one if you want a full heart sour flavor, go for this one. I also tested these two out by drinking this one first to see if it turned my tongue black because some people have said that they turn their tongue black. And this one doesn't turn your tongue black. I mean, there's a little tint, but not as much as this one. Now, when I switched from this to drinking this, I took one sip of this and I took another sip of this. This automatically turned my tongue black. So, again, we'll see tomorrow morning. Will my be black or green i don't know we'll find out so anyways thank you guys for watching this video um it's been such a long time since i've been back on here and i'm just happy to be back so hopefully you guys are happy uh, to see me as well don't forget to comment below tell me what you're eating um if you do try this out please let me know what you thought yourselves and um i will see you guys next time thanks for watching and this is santos martinez signing out peace out I do like Hello guys. Hello y'all. So it is officially the next morning and as promised, it delivered. <laughs> Everything was green. So yes, it does turn things green the next day. Overall, it was, uh, 
it was 50-50. The drink, a yes. The sandwich, not so much. So if you want to go out, go try that Fanta Black Cherry. It's a win for me. If you like airheads, sour things, you're going to love it. If you like the frosted frozen creamsicle flavor, you're going to love that one as well. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys later.